Hello, and welcome to this video. What we're doing in this video is setting up basically a read-only domain controller in a remote office or for remote users. Okay, now the benefits of this are for security reasons, it's only read-only, so it's only unidirectional caching. So basically, um, your main domain controller will pass its information onto this domain controller and only certain parts of it that you can restrict, okay, to you can limit it. So if someone wants to gain access to this server, this remote server, okay, they'll only get certain parts of your domain details and not too much. Also, passwords are not cached. You'll also have the benefits of basically them not being able to write back to your main active directory domain controller. Okay, so let's get on with it and show you how to set this up. And oh, one more benefit is also you can use it as load balancing. Because you're having a DNS server over here, you're also having active directory over here. For the users that are coming through this channel, they're not going to be taking up, shall we say, too much usage on your other domain controllers. So you're also having that benefit. So let's crack on with it. Okay. Basically, what we need to do is just open up um, Server Manager, go there, then add roles and features and click next, next, next until you get there. And in roles, click Active Directory Domain Services, click next. Click next. Well, we'll just give DNS as well. Might as well give DNS. Yeah. Okay. So that also reduces load off of our main DNS server. So there we go. Click next. And then install. Okay, and once it's installed, you basically need to promote it to a domain controller. It'll do a quick little check. And what we're doing is selecting the first option. So adding a domain controller to an existing domain. If you were setting up your main first domain controller, it would be a new forest, but we're already using our domain. So click Next. And then it's a read-only domain controller. Okay. Yeah, we can stick with that. We need to give the password that is used for restoring it. Uh, there we go. Just for simplicity's sake. Okay. Now, this group, okay, would literally push most of your main Active Directory's users, computers, all that data over here. If you want to do that, then you keep this. But for security reasons, we want to restrict it to only certain group or groups. So we're going to add, we've created one. Okay, on our main server. Do, 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 do. Remote user group. Sorry, my mistake. There we go. All right. So we have that, and we're going to get rid of this one. So now we've restricted it only to this. So that's making us a little bit more secure. Well, actually, a lot more secure. So we go forward. Okay. And if for example, this office was in a location where they had very slow internet access and you had a huge active directory that needed to be kind of like moved over to this one when this is set up. Okay, what you could have done was created an installed media on your main server and then, I don't know, post it, courier, the flash drive, whatever to this office. Okay, but we're pretty good with our networking over here, so everything's good. Okay, replicate from any domain controller? Well, uh, no. We're gonna choose the specific domain controller that we want. 
Let's go next. Click next. And then this will just verify everything's goody. All happy. Okay. Let's just go. Don't worry about these things. Let's, let's go next. And once that's done, it's basically going to restart. Okay, and after the restart, basically you have Active Directory with DNS. And you have this system, which is actually quite nice now. So our remote users will basically, our group, and all the users within that remote users group that we had set up, will basically be coming through on this machine, using this machine's DNS server. And for load balancing, that's taking a big load off our other server. And there you go. It's all set up. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video has helped.